don't I? I like to lean oh back. Oh my God, here we go. With you know, I was going to do an intro, but I'm, we're just going to start off with you talking about leaning back. No, Hi. I like to lean we back. don't even need an intro. I have, I've, I've come to a revelation. What? Go on. It's the peak revelation. It's for you and I too. You need to jump in on this as well. It's about you. <laughs> you know, this morning, just thinking about how you're getting closer to you because there's so many legs and shit under this you're table. Both you do you. This is the a I'm cop, the jankiest fucking and show. an army drill instructor. Like you literally no are the poster <laughs> child for compensation. I don't get it. You are a cop and a drill instructor. You have you have modeled your career after putting yourself in a position of authority over other men. Yeah, to include, we pay his salary, so you need to thank us. Because my tax dollars pay all of your income. <laughs> other than your CBD ops. CBD ops. Who? Yeah, bone to pick. Wait a second. They, I'm not Mike they, the they, cop they, again. They used, fucking did. <laughs> they used my little thing as a promo, which I'm totally fine with. But then they spelled my business. name wrong. I was like, dude, don't two team me. See? That's don't two team me. It was a test and you fucking did it. You're probably like the guy that like goes around with his phone and goes, hey man, this guy recognized me on the street from yeah. social media. Oh yeah, my definitely God. Need you. I definitely do that. Nice oh, to meet you. Man. Every That's time. That's Matt Best. That's the <laughs> Matt Best Okay, I I, I, let's start this off though. I do want to talk. Last show, people thought that there was like a little tension between us that we a almost little? don't like us. And I want to clear the air. We definitely don't like each other. No, I so, fucking hate him. Yeah, we yeah. we don't like each other. We do this solely for views yeah. and trying to poach your audience to real content that's good rather than your trash donkey Instagram. I'm totally kidding. I love you, and I'm happy you're back in the show. You're funny. Oh, spot. we can't keep now this you're just going. confused. Okay. Damn no, 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 no. Yeah, no. you see how I'm talking about it. He's trying to. He it out. He's trying he to figure out, out what's happen. real. No, no, no or no, not. No, no, it's all good. It's all good because yeah. I'm the guy that nobody requested it, but then gave you the biggest numbers I think you've ever had for somebody that nobody knows. But that's hey, not not the I'm biggest just a numbers. Nobody. I mean, uh, you know what? I beat Dan Crenshaw. So yeah, look at Nick. It's uh, you did well. You did. you did well. You are a very entertaining guest. Yeah. 100%. You're very entertaining. You're fun to talk to. I think it was the quality of that episode. I don't think it was the guest. Oh, because Eli didn't say anything? That's how you knew it was bad? <laughs> is Eli shut up, so you're like, this is going to be a good one. <laughs> we, we use Eli mainly just for his, like, anime-looking body because he's got, like, this little waist and these giant shoulders and kind of little... He looks like an anime character, so we just kind of put him on set. It's like, like a, talk show a late just, 90s really... cartoon superhero. Yeah. What? Well, I lost you. Lost me. What do you mean? Yeah, it's like a '90s cartoon. Yeah, superhero. you've never seen uh, like, oh, like Green Lantern. What is, and, like, no, 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 no. Captain, Captain, Captain Planet. Captain well, Planet. Like, you look, you, yeah, you could look like Captain Planet if you just yeah. stopped everything you're if doing. He, if he what do you, ate what the planet. Mean? If Captain Planet ate the planet, hey, this guy. with our powers combined, we can eat all the resources this, in the this, world. This, this, this midriff is You're at sucking least it I'm in right now. Shape. You're he is. sucking I'm it in. I'm getting some shape. I can't suck in the side. You sides, are shapes. Richard. You're a bunch of shapes stacked up on top of other shapes. Jared's standing up. That's why his voice is probably a little off the mic. You do look good, Jared. Thanks. Not gonna lie. I'm wearing. I'm wearing. Uh, come sit and relax again. I wish you would, old Joey. Cesar. Well, Cesar. Yeah, a little PJ action. He's going to give me that J-hole for this, you know? J-hole? Yeah, yeah. I, is that this like is a, that's the trade, you know? I wear a shirt and tell everybody to go check him out, and then he gives me that sweet little J-hole. What, oh. What's J-hole? J-hole. His hole. Oh, that's, J-hole. Yeah. Getting that J-hole. J-hole. Oh, I thought jail. I was like, you uh, want to go to jail? That seems uh, yeah, a little I think, fucking I think weird. disaster came up with that. Him and J-hole go back and forth with the give me your J-hole thing. I feel like you're the Can't dude that credit. if you played Call of Duty, you'd do butt stuff in the gulag. Is that a Isn't thing? Isn't that the point? Yeah. It's the gulag. <laughs> there are no rules in the gulag. There's no rules in the There's gulag. There's no rules in the gulag. Hey, man, instead of killing each other, you just want to fuck real quick? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think I would like to think that. And then I've like, I might have humped him a little bit. My, my first day in prison, I would want to shake things up a little bit, you know, because everybody thinks like, oh, that's his first day. Like, that's not you what know, you do in prison. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, I would hand out <laughs> was, little flyers last. like to my. To my cell hot dog party. To your cell boo? Yeah. yeah well, no, I would hand out flyers like, hey, I'm having having an all-do party in my cell. Anybody wants to I don't to think come? there's much of a choice. It's always going to be an all-do party in prison. <laughs> what do you think Jared's play is if he went to like prison, prison, not jail, prison? Do you think he would 
find like a click to hang out with or would he like, you know, shank someone with a toothbrush shank and try to like be one of the cool guys? Or do you think you just bought him bitch down right off the gate? I think Jared, as much as I hate to give him a compliment, would end up like uh, running the Black Panther party inside prison. They'd just be like, this is one cool white boy. <laughs> and like, shit, he makes me giggle on the inside and you're cool with me, man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Somebody more important is trying to talk to me. Oh, here oh, we nice, go with this nice. again. That's a married woman. Uh, I'll pick her up later. Wow. Mm. What have you been up to? Anything new? What, what you got going on? Nothing. I came down here. Uh, Jack Mandeville wrote a script for uh, Christmas Carol, Grunt Style. And so they wanted me to be in it. And uh, things got swapped around and I ended up turning into a Marine DI. So that's my character in that. And then I started just coming around and fighting around with you guys down here in Texas. Do you know what you're free. doing in social media, doing that kind of stuff? An army guy pay, playing a Marine? You're essentially giving all the Marines ammo to say, see, army guys wishes, wish they were Marines. And you know, what's funny is like, I got a lot of, I posted a photo of me in the Marine DI uniform and everybody got very excited about that. But you know, I'm a confident man and they want me in their uniform, not the opposite way around. Okay. I just, I proved, <laughs> I proved the point. They were like, right. like you want to be a Marine so bad? I'm like, no, 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 no. You want me to be a Marine so bad. Yeah. And then here's all these, you know. Well, well not to slop on the knob here, but that mm, mustard sure. video that you and Jared did, I watched it when I was getting into bed at like one and I had a little buzz, just finished up work and I looked at it. I laughed and I think I watched it about six times. And it, and from that video, I was like, I am 100% riding in you into a good long acting in one of our next skits, if you're down for it. <laughs> no, dude, you're, you're, I didn't realize you could act that well. Like it makes sense because you did like theater. Okay. We're, All right. No, yeah, we'll do this later. We'll 69 oh. off. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Sorry. Reverse cowgirl. It's weird. It so, was. Right. Jared I mean, already told me the, the thing contract. Was, I have the to thing with that video is... You like the butthole play. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Just a thumb, not in and around the circle. Jesus, oh, God. Man. That's graphic. No, we... Uh, you know, I didn't know where to, where to go with that. And it was you that added the... Uh, the whole portion about not well, you're, you're, not lying. Yeah. You know, really, for me, it was just the, you the wanted shock to be value nothing. of... You, which Why are you covered in mustard? And then you added a new layer to it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flex... For you, he was just on the phone with JP, awakening with JP, which I find hysterical. And I could hear uh, his voice on the phone. JP's the gentleman who does like the JP vegan Sears. videos. Yes. And yeah, he's, he's a great so, comedian. Yeah, he's hysterical. And so I heard his voice and I was like, is that JP? And he goes, yeah. I go, oh, that's fantastic. And he goes, JP, do you know Angry Cops? And JP was like, no. I'm like, of course he doesn't fucking know who I am. I'm just a dude on the internet, the asshole. And just like him, just belittle me after I give him a compliment. I'm like, oh, is that a famous friend? Mm. So he brings up the mustard thing. I lost, I lost and my JP train thought. And JP immediately goes, oh, JP yes, I did goes, see yes, that hysterical. video. And it was funny because you wanted it to be about nothing, which is great. A lot of good funny skits can be about nothing. But I was like, I kind of want it to have like a really good, solid take-home message. Yeah. And then we melded it and no, it, it was perfect. your baby. I just kind of helped nurse it. No, like, like, like exactly what he said. He goes, well, it was hard to do. Did, like, like to realize, is this a skit or is this just real life yeah. with him? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little like both, you know? Yeah. I feel like that's always with you though in content. Like there's a large sprinkle of who you Truth. are. We all kind of write to people's yeah. personalities. We do. It was like the 810 skit in horror films and you're like, that. Congress want to get rid of this thing? Fuck. That was completely ad-libbed there and it made the whole scene. <laughs> yeah. So works out. It's fun. Yeah. Now, now we need to have you on one of our sets. 100%. One day. Yeah. The next, I mean, I'm not going to say yes. You know, I don't want to sell out. Oh, come <laughs> on. You get to hang out and drink and, you know, it'll be fun. He's still pro Second Amendment. That's why he can't yeah, be in Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know if you knew this about me. <laughs> oh okay, God. Matt Best. But I'm Fair. a conservative man. And therefore, <laughs> I get super offended when somebody comes up me with opposite. View. Oh, my God. That was my liberal voice, but with a conservative. Why did it sound so right? <laughs> Oh, it's because everybody on the right's been shitting on you for absolutely yeah. nonsense. My yeah. Oh, hey, my God. Right. I thought that they thought that they were different. Mm. Mm. I thought that you thought that they thought, hey, it's okay. You know, people are going to say what they say. I'm, we're back to work, getting shit done. I still love you. I mean, mm. I, I, don't, I, I don't understand this. The one thing that I do want to point out is people, you know, obviously the majority of people that hang out on this side that we're talking about, we... 
we pride ourselves in being men. You know, we can change tires. We can hunt. We know how to use weapons, things like that. Don't know which where the also mean, is. We're which, good which also means, <laughs> you know, we kind of are down with some violence every once in a while. Mm-hmm. You know, people were attacking my best friend and then confused when I'm like, hey, fuck you. You're going after him. You're going after me too. We were also oh, part of you're, the company. you're just over there defending. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, I am. Duh. Keep talking. But it's a you're going to get hurt. I'm just going to let my friend get smashed <laughs> over the head of the bottle. And yeah. Go, you and started it. That's the it. thing. And then you're surprised. Like, <laughs> like, can't believe you're not distancing yourself. Distancing myself from my best friend, you fucking idiot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I have a whole not- cancer. I have a whole naughty or nice list that I'm building. You know, <laughs> I don't forget the ATF things. Is watching. I don't I, either. I go the long disappear. play in life. Like yeah. I go the long play and, and I have no problem admitting fault. And, you know, certain things I don't think were handled the best, whatever. But, you know, yeah. at, the, yeah. at, at the end of the day, like I know like who my friends are, my business partners, what our company does. And uh, we do amazing things. And I'm like, okay. I'll never forget. And I am, that's what I'm kind of leaving. I this mean, whole thing. also like, too, not though, forget. Like, I'm the long, I'm the long I play guy, this, man. I want to just want to get this straight. Yeah. Get this yeah. straight. Matt best threatens individuals with violence after I did online not, shenanigans. How did I threaten anybody? No, that's with what's going to be on the news. No. Post. Oh, oh, oh that's it. Yeah. Like <laughs> he, he said, he'll never forget. Yeah, but I, he'll never I, forget. I also love, I see the comment. You guys handled this like shit. Okay. Where was the, where's the bookshelf with that manual? Like, like yeah. we are three enlisted guys <laughs> like, yeah. with yeah. no business degree or business background. And they're, they're just, fuck you guys for handling this stupid. We're like, you're yelling at the guy that smushed mustard into his beard for a video <laughs> on how he handled his business burned my improperly. Skin. And- <laughs> yeah. And the bro vet guy over here that's like, has, you know, a bachelor's degree, but it's online. So Can it doesn't we even talk count. about bro vet? Sure. Do we want to let that out of the bag yet? It's time. It's okay. Time. There's too he's, many people that are he's using ready. it. He's ready. He's ready. There's too many people that are using oh, I mean, it. I mean, I'm intrigued. There's too okay. many people that are using it. So okay. a so while ago. Four years almost. Yeah. Uh, JT and I met when my videos kind of became popular. I know this popular. makes me really happy because no one knows. No. It's fucking great. No, we haven't, so, we we'll haven't really come it. out with it yet. So when we're, we're it's going to, it was, oh, this is good. <laughs> so, so we, we met a while ago and First time that I was on here, I told you I was civil affairs psychological operations for a while. And he's a fucking psycho, which works well, <laughs> right? So it's just, it makes sense. So we get together, we end up, you know, meeting one another, talking over the phone and blah, blah. And we just start bullshitting kind of like this and just getting weird. And it's fun stories and back yeah, and forth. Let me get to the point. The point is, is that we came up with the term bro vet. Or like, yeah, it's, he's like a bro. Hey, it's like a bro veteran, bro vet, ha, bro vet. And we started goofing around with it. And then we were like, Really, it kind of started with with Ross first, like because you know he's he came from a fraternity and things like that. Yep. And and then from there it was like, ooh, what if we started planting this? And at first it was just to fuck with him. Yep. We were gonna. Nice. Like, I didn't know you, but I was like, yeah, fuck it, you're a star. It'll be yeah. fun to mess with you. Yeah, hell I don't yeah, that's you. great. Yeah. That's that's just a good joke. So. What turned out is kind of like just see where we could go with it. Kind of turned into like this whole new movement of brovet. As we don't think people know that. JT and I started the I term, had, the term I had two, bro vet. I had two accounts that were secret. The and I would came, accounts? I, well, not, I not came in, accounts, but I yeah, came secret. in on some original videos and called you a bro vet and then explained what it was. And then we just planted that seed and let it roll. Yep. So good. <laughs> it's so good. So everybody that's Which is been, funny because like as if I even would get upset about being called a no, bro vet. No, this I was don't all, care. No, this I know, was but all like, to when people see, are like, fuck bro vets. I'm like, sure. This is all just to see what we could do with the military it, community. Of course. You <laughs> start that was all we could do. We were just like, trends. what if we psyoped a bunch of dummies? <laughs> and just well, got them. It was it was right, it was right kind of the heat. Remember, like four years ago, we had the apex of the uh what do you call it? Counterculture movement. There was like a small pocket of people that had never really watched any of our content or anything, but they loved to hate us because everybody, there was such a mass amount of people that enjoyed what we put out. So yeah. they, it was cool for them to be yeah. the, 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 they were the cool kids because they didn't buy into the hype. Mm-hmm. Right. So I was like, okay, how do we, how do we flip them on something we create and then get them to use that as what mm. defines them? And that's what they've used for the last like three plus years. Yep. Just, I love it. Oh, these stupid bro vets. It's like, hey, bud, we we gave you that. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. You know what I need? I need to, well, if that's the case and you started off me, what we should do, you remember the old Arnold is numero uno? I should be bro vet numero, numero uno, uno yeah. you know, and just rock that shirt everywhere. You should. 
I have no problem with it because what's a bro? I got a beard and tattoos, and I kind of like bro out and lift weights. You gotta you gotta shoot stuff all the time. You gotta be like, hey man, remember when I was in the war? The war? The war? That was really cool. You won't know how cool it is, but if I show you in photos how cool the war was with me in it, (laughs) you'll know how cool I was. The war was way cooler when I was in it. (laughs) When I was in it, I'm super operator. Like operator was like a big thing. And we were, it was like an unintentional thing to kind of compete yeah. with well, operator, but yeah. we, we didn't want to be operator. We wanted to be bro vet. Yeah. We wanted to be an obnoxious guy that kind of knew some stuff that was like, well, I think that's what probably like the 88 Mike that would fix trucks, but then like gets out of the army yeah. and then he starts like wearing all these tack vests and starts teaching people like room clearing techniques. Which is like, hey, I, I'm I'm fine with whatever career path you want to go through, but for sure, I think that that the bro vet probably stemmed off of like when the term operator was like real big back in 14, and we did like how to be an operator, but we always poked fun on the misuse of operator term because mm-hmm. even least while it started, an operator was like a tier one counterterrorism guy, right? So we're talking Team Six or CAG, and then that kind of the other special operations community kind of absorbed that term a little bit, but like never once when I was in Ranger Battalion was like. I'm an operator. I, I wouldn't, I won't you say, say that. that to each other. No, no, no. I mean, it does say operative on my book, which was a little yeah, hard but for now, me, but that was more like, I couldn't say now you years say, later, say the, the three letter thing on there, you know, the term operator now is, is thing? literally Acronym. used Agency. for anybody oh. that's doing actual operations, not like support right. it's, functions. It's a more generalized. Yeah, now they're using point. it you yeah. know, in everything. Right. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, I think that's what kind of came off the bro vet thing, like you're saying, where it's like people got out and then all of a sudden it's like the beards and and like the the tactics. and it's It was not already there, there but, it just didn't have a name. And then we kind yeah. of pushed a name. That's amazing. I love that so much. Good well, job. We Good got job. Him. High fives later. Thank you. you fucking truly you. drinking son of a bitch. I know, line. you're going yeah. full true, huh? I can't, I can't not drink when I'm around you two idiots. So. That is true. That is We're true. We're not drinking though. Now... Oh, no, you just to tolerate us. Okay, got it. Yeah, we're on to uh, the bad- kind of a big deal. Yeah, you want to do the bad- kind of a kind of a big deal. This you is- know, and again, okay. Uh, I love how you, you know, guys are we were vetting out together. We were called you out. Talk. You know, Evan was well, called we out. Like, it, so <laughs> this sounds like such a lie. Who would ever make a dumb bet? Like you're, and you're saying that to the guy that bet somebody a perm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you did. Like, oh no, that bet somebody that the loser had to change the winner's diaper. I don't yep. think, and <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that s- scenario, but like people forget how dark our humor is. And we're like <laughs> selfish comedians. We're like, I've gone to extensive, nearly shouldn't be doing it things to make two or three of my friends laugh a lot. Evan over the drove course. five and a half hours one way to put a fucking, what was it, John Kerry sticker or Obama (laughs) sticker? Obama. I think it was Obama. On his dad's truck and then drove back another five and a half hours and deployed. And his dad was a foreman at a power plant, Mm -hmm. called everybody in and threatened (laughs) to fire everybody once he found out who put the sticker on his truck. And Evan snuck in, did that. Didn't even say hi to his dad. Didn't say (laughs) say goodbye to his dad before he deployed. It couldn't be my son. He's deployed. He's an American hero. (laughs) He's an American hero. We'd never do that, my son. (laughs) And then what, Jared did the fake wedding announcement on my channel? I called every celebrity um, we knew. And got videos yeah. of them confirming that they were going to perform and appear at Matt's wedding in Vegas. And then uploaded it to my channel without me knowing it like 10 minutes before we got in an airplane. So I couldn't get Wi-Fi for at least 35 minutes. And I remember I knew, oh, we told the story before, but I, me- I remember something was up because I was like, oh, you're on the internet? It's working. He goes, oh, no, 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 it, it's shit. Though. It's not working at all. I wouldn't get on the internet. And I was like, that was a weird fucking statement he just yeah, said. Like he was really shaky. defensive of me not getting on there. I land the second I turned on my LTE bleep, or 5G. Bleep, I had like 30 texts of like, fuck yeah, bro. Can't wait to see you in Vegas. And I'm like, congratulations. Can't see you. What the fuck are these people talking about? And Jared's like, <laughs> <laughs> rolling my page. It's there got it eight, 800,000 fucking views of me getting married. And Inviting I wasn't getting married. the public I was like, oh to a God. wedding. It, we said it was going to be open admission. Was, I just felt bad because he lied to him. But there was like people legit stoked. He was like, all that remains, he got Phil to come on there and be like, yeah, we're headlining the show. I was like, oh, fuck. I mean, eventually dude. we have to do that. We have to get all that remains to headline a wedding. Yes. That's a goal. It'd That's be a goal. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. Back to our bet. Back to our bet. This one's good. 
We're going with a Super Bowl bet again. It's going to be a Super Bowl bet. Yes. We got to figure out who it is. I want first choice because I haven't figured out your punishment Okay, you can, you can have first choice because I don't, I'm not going to know anything about football anyway. No, oh, okay. So I'm just going to go with a Dude, choice. You got a good handicap then if you get a pick. If I get to pick And first. you know sports a little bit. Just Why remember, sports? Ross, Ross picked when we went through this. True. He is a sports show announcer. Yeah. <laughs> <And he laughs> Very lost. true. <laughs> Even, even the greats fuck up sometimes. <laughs> so, Babe Ruth swung and missed once or twice. Here is my what's on the table for you. Yes. If my team goes through the Super Bowl victoriously, you have to join the Air National Guard. Yes. And I've accepted this. <laughs> that... Okay. I this is big boy bets. This is big boy bets. <laughs> and this is just for shits and giggles. And I am gonna do you're it. Gonna, you're gonna join the Air National Guard. I've got like lateral Chancellor. I signed a I signed a one year con, uh, extension with the army as of right now to try and figure out where I want to go with my future in the military. And we decided literally like 10 minutes ago, yeah. just bullshitting around, like, oh, you should make a bet on the Super Bowl. I'll you're bet you become something. an I'll airman. Like, but you become an airman. I was like, You're gonna be an airman. I was like, okay. He's like, Tech P. I'm like, no, fuck you. Like, I, I got I got a life still, man. I can't go away for like 20 weeks of training. He's like, Air National Guard. I go, I could do that. Like, I would join the Air Force on a whim just to do it for a two-year contract. Wouldn't that mean you would retire out of the Air Force? I mean, I could. No. Or you could always oh, branch transfer again. Right? Because when you retire, it would say... U.S. Air Force retired. No, I can just <laughs> transfer back. I can just transfer back. I don't know the how army. it works anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like in 20 years in the army and it's you're like retired gender. You know, one day I'm an army guy. One day I'm That's a marine. Fine, yeah. and I swept right back to army. Yeah, it's cool. It's like gender. <laughs> do, you, do you have a rebuttal for this? Bet no, for not him? yet. So uh, it's got to be something good because obviously me switching, I wouldn't be a drill sergeant anymore. I would be in, I'd be airman high. Your your complication Ugh. with Jared is there's two avenues to go with this, not throwing in the bus, Jared, but there's A, super funny, or B, something that requires a little like hard work, which mm. would just fuck him over and wouldn't be that uh. funny, but it would be like that, that, that's, that, how that's, that's, that's how to get the, him back that's out. That's the kidney shot, fuck you. And then the funny ones, like for everybody else, the audience to laugh. Like, yeah, but he would do funny. He wouldn't mind funny. If it was actual something that would make him work, He would. that would be something that he'd be like. Mm. Like he has to go on a one month Alaskan boat thing and be, a, be working on the deck. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's that's, that's cool to, pit. That's I'm one of the hardest jobs, Alaskan dude. Alaskan fisherman. Yeah, for a month. <laughs> you tell me this guy. You gotta go on a charter boat for a month. He'd be under like the fucking bow, just like doing meth with all the rest of the guys. <laughs> this is so bad. You no, know, they wait for three days. They'd come back and think they had a million pounds of shrimp and there'd only be fucking 200,000 because Jared <laughs> two, ate two, all the shrimp. 200,000 like, and 500 pounds of diarrhea. You just go <laughs> into, into the end. Seafood diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, those, we're selling the prawns. You can't fucking eat the prawns. <laughs> and it's not sushi. You have to cook shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> seafood diary. <laughs> this is one of the engine bases filled with shit. <laughs> Jared, you're going to use the bathroom. I didn't want anybody to know about the shrimp. <laughs> oh my God. I've just, co I've collected it in a room. <laughs> it's your shame poop room. <laughs> it's a shame poop room. It's just like, there's I'm, just the SPR. Of shrimp and, and then the, shit. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, there's boot prints for when I walk in. <laughs> You're walking through it with like, my it's with my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> You've got I'm sorry and shit on the wall. <laughs> He's oh, made God. this diatribe of how he could do better in his own feces on the wall. <laughs> He's got the countdown calendar when he's getting off the boat written oh, in poop God, on the wall. All the broken mess my, pipes right next to it. My shame room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? Wasn't that the storage area? No, no. it's the SPR. The shame poop room. <laughs> God. Oh, that would be awful. That's yeah. What am I going to do? You're going to have to save up all your poop and then burn it in one year in an oil drum. Oh, God. That or like you were talking about earlier, I love the Civil Air Patrol play. Like oh, yeah. Ma making him like be like a honorary commander of a Civil Air Patrol. Or or you have to sign a one-year, two-year contract like I do, but you have to be in the Air National Guard as security forces. Then I have to go back through school. So do I. I got to, what do you think? I could just join the Air Force and be 
yeah, air you, guy you, high. You can, you can just hang out. You can for like a year. Yeah. transfer, right? I'm just gonna go into a, like a. I've known a couple unit. people that have that have hung out for about three years without going to training. Yeah, and who doesn't want to go to Air Force Basic? Isn't it in Hawaii? He doesn't at, have at to. A five star resort. I don't know. I think it's like next to like some evil lair and a volcano. The Air Force Basic. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. Because Air Force Basic is considered the bottom. You are the bottom, buddy. I'm just saying, like, yeah. no, that's that's 100% real. Power bottom. Anybody that comes from another service doesn't have to re-go through Air Force basic training. But if Air Force goes to any other service, they have to go to basic training yep. again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the Army, you're pretty good. I think you have to go to, like, boot camp, though, to join the Marines or, like, an accelerated... I don't know. I'd have to look that up. For Army, you have to go to prior service boot camp, which is boot camp with drill sergeants, but light. Right. Because, like, you already know your shit. The drill sergeants are like, you're not a fucking turd. You're already yeah, in. Yeah, you've been here, let's, yeah. Let's get, through the, let's get through this. I'm going to be hard on you, so you got, like, the Army standard way of doing things, but it's not basic training. I definitely know the Army standard way of not do, of doing things because I ignored it for mm -hmm. 15 years of my career. I ignored it for six years of my career. <laughs> and I was in. <laughs> I actually, when I went through a uh, RIP... Funny story ish. Not really. Oh, funny. wow. A Ranger story. Wow, mm -hmm. man. It's cool. not about me. You awesome. know what? Great. Could Did be worse. We could have somebody. A Ranger? We could have somebody telling I, us a Bud story. Do you, oh, that's true. Do you, do you, yeah. I mean, it's it's a, you don't even know At the context. At least it's the army, yet. Richard. No, I just wanted to share. Okay, no you. shit there I was. It's been like Iraq, 20 minutes. Listen, <laughs> listen, don't you sit there and take shit from the guy that went to oh. budget airborne school well, as a civilian. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, Hold on. It's okay. Hold on. Even Dave went to the real army jump school. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't I'm not wearing the pin. I'm not wearing it with my class. I'm surprised yes, you guys you are. didn't you have some wearing fucking wings on there. ceremony. You want to know something funny, though, is that if there was a a Mexican Mexican jump master there. I could have worn Mexican jump master or the fucking Mexican I know, I wings. I have German jump wings, and, but not had airborne wings from the army from our military. And I would have loved to do that. I would have been allowed to wear Mexican jump wings, but I would have had no jump wings on mine. What he's not telling you is he cruised in this morning when I first came in here, and he goes, "Airborne, bro, right? Fuck boots." Yeah, and I was like, it. "Whoa, dude. Okay, yeah. chill." Now he's he's one of the biggest leg talking shitters that yeah. I've ever seen. Actually, you know what? I know that I'm better than both of you because I did airborne school in three days, and it took you guys like what two and a half weeks? Three Lame. weeks. Lame. Yeah. Lame. Yeah. Lame. That was the worst. <laughs> Come back anyway. So about my you're Ranger the one story. that actually went in your off time to jump with a fucking T10 Delta. It was fun. I never did it before. Did you even have to do a combat equipment jump? No, no, it was a Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. Then, Hollywood. Yeah, that that that's just like it was fun. That's fun. Yeah. That's that's if you out of a Huey. Yeah, out of a Huey. Of, yeah, yeah. Out of oh, a Huey. helicopter too, bro. It was sweet. You're that's yeah. If you're jumping out of a helicopter with a T10 Delta, you're literally just. Nicely, like I'm a not, pillow flying through I didn't say I was a badass. I just did it because it was fun and no, it was you, fun. No, you came in and asked if I got my blood wings and said that you got yours. Yeah, and Dude. then you went airborne. Yeah. And then you slapped then you, me on the chest. Then you said, why don't you beat your boots? Dude, it, yeah. was, it was a bunch of- it was a bunch Thank of you for guys. your service. You know, watch your tone because it was a bunch of OGs that came in before you, fella. Okay, All right. I, I'm not- I'm a washed up veteran. I yeah. have no problem admitting that. Yeah, you're right. I'm still in. How about you at ease your face, guy? Okay, we'll, we'll thank okay. me for my service. All right, yeah. you're a Actually, veteran, no, Richard. Richard now counts as two veterans since he's he's ingested another veteran. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Is that a fat joke or am I missing something? No, no you're I missing ate, something. I accidentally ate another human being that was dead. This is not true. But <laughs> no, it's true. It's 100% true. No, I accidentally yeah. consumed another man. Yeah, so he's not two veterans. Not the way that you think. <laughs> You got, tell me this story. No, let me touch your face. <laughs> fucking break your arm. Look at that. Look at this guy talking all shit. Can't even boop him on the nose. All defensive. Where, how did you eat a human? This is not real. No, yes, it's, it's real. Not real. It's no, real. it's real. So while we're jumping out of the helicopters, yeah. hold on. I'm not done talking, guy. And he's your face. And <laughs> so he wants to know the story, but he's going to jump on me. Like, like airborne. Like we jump out of planes now, fellas? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. So, so... At the end of the uh, the week of jumping and, and having a bunch of fun and hanging out with a bunch of veterans, and I, we were poking fun at RC uh, at the Range Canopy Parachute Team, but they are a lot. Tell of me really the cool funny guys. part of the story. I'm telling you, Dad. <laughs> so this gets kind of Daddy. funny. So there's an old Vietnam veteran Cav Scout that passed away, and his son, I guess, was an operator. I forget specifically what he did, but he was in for a while, and he's gonna uh, spread his dad's ashes from the Huey over the airfield. And now you're starting to get what I'm now saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So the That's plan was that the Huey was going to do a, was going to buzz the ground, buzz the airfield. We're all standing in position of attention on the tarmac, and then it was going to go above somewhere, way above us, 
and then release the ashes. The someone's going to release the ashes of his father. So I'm sitting there, position of attention. It does the buzz by, and then it's going to come around, you know, and go up and we're going to render a salute and he, they were going to drop the ashes. So it starts coming by really slow, but at the same height that it was when it was buzzing the ground, like only like 30 feet above the ground. And it's coming right in front of me. And Dan Sharp, who is the a creator of Pop Smoke. Pop Smoke official. Yep. And so, you know, they go, you know, uh, you fucking salute. And I'm sitting there, position of attention, hand salute. And I'm just like looking straight forward. And out of the corners of my eyes, I'm watching this helicopter just hover just over. And I go, oh no, I know what's going to happen. Oh no. Oh no. They're way too low. Oh no. And I just see the sun go thump, thump. All this gray dust comes out. I'm like, oh no, oh no. And then the helicopter wash picks it up and. Really? I eat the ashes of, I'm not even joking. I eat the ashes of an old first calf guy. Calves You're two veterans now. And I'm two. I have, I've consumed. Can you imagine? I mean, RIP him. He's probably a badass mofo, nothing but respect. But can you imagine he. That's what I said. I mean, he's laughing his Yeah, but part of him might be in hell if it's inside of you. Like, you know? Can you imagine? You're like, all right, I'm just going to be spread out here. This is awesome. And then you get into angry cops' body and you're like, fuck, dude, what is this diet? So this is what VD feels like. Why are his toenails painted? What a fucking idiot. (laughs) Dude, that sucks. So I was sitting there and I, I thought it was that awesome. Sucks. I thought I thought it was, I didn't have an issue with it. Dan did. Dan was Dan was upset for about twenty minutes and then got over it. But I was just like, this son of a bitch is laughing his balls off and like, look at me spread all over these fucking idiots on the ground. Hell yeah, yeah that was even better than I thought. I don't know why he was southern, but it it plays to the story. Right? I'm sure he's a badass yeah. mofo. No. So so yeah, I ate a veteran unintentionally. Richard is now hmm. two veterans. That's true. I'm a veteran and a half. Thank you for your services. You're welcome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for your services. And he was airborne, so technically that means that can round up. So you can put the badge on. I want to say this. You like saying you're airborne would be like me saying that I'm free fall certified because I'm certified in a wind tunnel. And I am. But yeah, that's, that's, that's exactly essentially it. what this is, where I'm like, hey, hey dude, certified. I'm free fall. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Blessed off. You get it. You get it. So we're cool now. Yeah, awesome. we're cool. We're always cool. Even the truly is a little weird to me, but that's fine. I know. It was in your it's- fridge. Yeah, it's but it's like fridge. truly. You own this place. It's your fridge. Everything truly is yours. You're is like a like, general. It's, if somebody dies on post, it's your fault. Does that mean like, I'm in uh, charge of you since you're in my building? You want to be? Oh, daddy. Ooh. <laughs> Let's get him a leash. <laughs> yeah, with spikes on it and a leather. Yeah, that way we could just pull with, his pull him back by his neck. So you guys are gonna be really back. turned off when I get a red rocket. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> All right, I've so what happened at Riff? Lipstick just to turn it, it, it completely doesn't even matter anymore. It, long story was, because uh, we're talking about people that had gone through basic trainings and all that shit. Um, we had a dude that was a prior ranger, got out pre-war and then wanted to come back in. And so when we're going through Rip, they every time they smoked us for long periods, they just made him pull security, which I thought was awesome. That's amazing. He, he, I know he actually had a combat scroll. I think he was right in at the beginning. So he was just laying in the prone, pulling security while we just got fucked up for hours. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, dude, that, that would suck to have to go to rip twice. Like, <laughs> ugh, no thanks. We had a CA buddy of mine, shout out to Pakel, and he, went, he deployed with us and didn't like the second tour. I didn't like the second tour. I left CA after that too. And But he did the cool thing and went, uh, special forces. And I think he's Camo, if I'm not mistaken. I forget his 18 series, but he went to, he, they were like, hey, uh, you're a sergeant. You got to take a drop in rank. I, th- I forget if he, they dropped him down to E2 or E4. Oof. And you got to go to bending basic training all over again. Like you got to do basic all over again, even though you've been to combat and you deployed and done all that cool shit. And he was like, okay, cool. I'm in. Passed everything. But you went to basic training. The drill sergeants were like, hey, you can wear your combat patch uh, here and, you know, your combat action badge. Uh, we would like it if you didn't. No. Because we kind of want everybody to be like one team, you know, and all the privates to be together and blah, blah. But you are totally allowed to do whatever you want to do. And we're kind of going to leave you alone. But we're going to ask that you play the game. And he's like, yeah, cool. So similar to that. I mean, obviously yeah. not rip. But he had to do 
basic training all over again Dude. with the deployment in his original contract. Like he he signed a six year contract, did three years of it, and, and then was like, "Hey, I want to go basic. special forces." They're like, "Cool, you got to go back to basic." You're like, but, "But I'm in right now. I'm in right it's now." It's so weird they made him go back to yeah, basic. Yeah, that doesn't training. make sense for infantry. Yeah, for infantry Why school. Wouldn't- for OSIT. For infantry, infantry also. Like, you can't do, like, a three-week fucking training course. It's a goddamn E5. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that would be crazy. They send him back to OSIT. That, that dude, ugh. They yeah. want OSIT. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't imagine as an E5 having to go back to basic training. And he got, well, got his stripes taken away. He fucking, he's an E4. Really? That, but he did it. And he's fucking out and brag being a badass. Well, good on him. Mm. What, when, when did you go through basic? When, uh, August 2005. Like, how old were you? 17. 17? Mm-hmm. Okay. How old are you? Why? Yeah. <laughs> you're younger than me. <laughs> Take a guess. I look old as fuck. Because yeah, but you're you know, younger than four. me. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I've always thought you were older and more mature. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're, you're 34. 33. 33, yeah. Close. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I'm older than you. I know, you look great. Damn, I, dude. I'm I don't about know what to be you 36. <laughs> if it's like, I eat, you know, fetuses. Oh, I eat dead old guys. Yeah, so I'm yeah. Going it in the ages you fat, But you're more of a badass than me if you ate oh. a former first cow guy from back in the day. That's, that's, you just ate a whole bunch of like non combat babies. I ate a combat baby. <laughs> non combat baby. <laughs> you ate a bunch of leg babies, Stem man. Stem cells. Fucking leg babies. You. But I look at that in like basic training, like being 17, I think there's something so special about that because you're just kind of, you don't know don't the know world. Anything. And I just like cruise through that. But I can't, like some of the guys, like I had to went through basic with a dude that was 32 mm-hmm. um, and he was just bitter the whole time. And I didn't yeah. understand it because I was 17. But now I think about me going through basic at 32, I'd be like, oh, my God, I would be fucking well, putting when you're young kid, kids' heads through walls. Yeah, well, it's not even that. It's kind of like... When you're that young, 17, 18 years old, pretty much anybody that's older than you has more chops than you. So you just kind of roll with it. Mm -hmm. When you're older and you could quickly define that that drill instructor yelling at you is a total fucking tool. And you're like, (laughs) oh God, like, no wonder why you're here. Like, then then you start to have trouble, Mm -hmm. like, getting into the game again. Because... You immediately well, yeah. can see, especially if you're like 28, bad and leadership, the drill instructor weakness. is like 24. Yeah. You'd mm-hmm. be like, "This fucking bitch!" I'll spend yeah, 17. You're just like, "Okay, sure, yell at me, whatever. You can't yeah. kill me. It's yeah. easy." All right. Oh shit. It's right. like the two variations of issues that we have with basic training. It's like if you're under the age of 21, the issue with you is normally you're just, you're too stupid and you don't have any experience at life. Right. So your your mistakes are because you just inept. You haven't been trained anything yet. But then like you get older than 25 and up, and then the issues are. You're a grown man. You've popped out a child already. You know, nobody talks to me like this. I'm a responsible adult. You don't need to talk to me like this. It's different types of training yeah, issues that, that you get that, with that those That totally groups. makes sense. If they're running like a household, they have a kid, they're like a manager at their job, and now they're E2 in the military. I used to sell three at. kilos a fucking week, man, and now you're yelling at me? Fuck off. I'm like, wow. They've said that? Uh, I mean, variations of that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Some of them, the ones under 21. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the ones under 21 have said that. That's like the good, pro- well, especially back in the day during like the surge time, I would imagine, because the army was just like, hey, you can just join if you want. Anybody's welcome. I mean, Which they, is great. Yeah. yeah and not, bad. Bad and good, but. Eh. You know what? Random, random. Please. Random. Have you heard, I wanna make, I'm going to make a video on it when I get home, I think, because it's really starting to irritate me, but I got to read more into it. But do you know what's going on with 2-7, the Marines right now? No, no clue. Uh, two Marines got in a fight. Two yeah. lower enlisted, two Lance Corporals, E3s, got in a fight. One of them got injured and had to go to the hospital, right? Not, nothing life threatening. probably broken arm. I don't know specifically. Anywho, Battalion Sergeant Major of Marines is like, I'm so upset with two Marines for fighting one another. I know, big shock, that he shuts down his battalion. Nobody goes home for Christmas. There's no Christmas black leave. You're staying here. All the NCOs are pulling like, Staff duty six at a time, like in overseas rotations, just being a bastard that because guy two Marines is fought a each other. Dumbass. Correct. From what you're telling me, who and this cares? Is, and this yeah. is very limited knowledge of what I know. That's just the very basic bones of the story. How, why? And like, you, why? What but, the fuck? We we t- we hit on this a little bit last last time, but you know, you're a drill instructor. What is this like cultural movement to make the military a bunch of fucking weak pussies? Like the whole goal for like a young Marine, right? Mm-hmm. Is to be a little violent. It's and supposed to be. You're gonna a lot have of testosterone and you're gonna fight. Like, dude, I know so many fist fights that went down between fucking Rangers and shit, but like we just, 
you, you, you discipline them or like, hey, don't do that yeah. shit again. And they got fucking stitches. And or they get it eyes, out of their system. And they You're get like, out of their system. Right, where they, that fight but, spirit, boys, and for me, I'd rather have two dudes like fight in front of us and, and settle their beef Kumite. than like take that out to the Kumite. bars and kill somebody. Dude, dude. I saw that. As a, uh, uh, when I was, I had just put on E5 and I was about to leave uh, Fort Bragg. I was with the White Panthers at the time. Right, and so the... And the um, you look like yeah, a White Panther. Yeah, yeah, Piece the White shit. Panthers. It's, it's, it's Is that like a well, unit? Second of the five of five. Mm. And uh, the scout platoon that I had just went to JRTC with, I rolled rolled over to their company HQ or the platoon headquarters or whatever. And the the platoon leader, this lieutenant that was a prior enlisted infantry guy, was like, "Come outside. We got to deal with some shit." And he has a whole platoon in a in a circle, and he's like, "You two in the middle." You've been bitching and griping at each other. You guys got in a fucking tiff out in town at the Big Apple or something. He's like, you're going to settle it right here. Go. And those two freaking duked it out with their whole platoon watching. And then when they were done, they got up. He's like, is this done? Is this done? All right, we're done here. Outstanding. It's fucking great. Outstanding. I love it. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And we could do that. Or, or like we used to do that all the time, like overseas. And the and whole shit, platoon we... watched too. Yeah. So it wasn't like... You're not going to get part of the story. Oh, I won. I won. I won. No, you guys, you guys fucking went at it. Mm -hmm. Like, and half the time, it's not about winning with that. It's just getting punched in the face and punched someone else. And we're like, okay, kind of got out of your system. Yep. Yeah, we did that. We used to put boxing gloves on and headgear and just fuck each other. I mean, other and they didn't up. hold back. Those two went hard, like three full yeah. rounds. And then to the point where it was out of their, they, they were tired. They were both hurt and they were like, <laughs> All right, yeah, man, you're on my same team. I like you. I love that stuff, dude, because like we, we'd like we'd spar. I'd end up like like light sparring some of my like teammates that I liked, but then like the private that I really fucking hated, dude, just tee that dude up as hard as you can. Cause then you get out of your system. You don't want to fuck him up later. You're like, yeah. yeah, whatever. I gotta punch you in the fucking face. You lose no more, man. Now you get in trouble. Oh, speaking of imitation. What I know you haven't seen it because it was a video that I made. Zing on me. Um the first 100 yards, they got rid of the shark attack and basic training. Yeah. Then, so I did the video on that. That was yeah. last time that I was here, right? right? Did a re-up on that because then the Sergeant Major of the Army went to Benning and said, let's look at the first 100 yards because I support it and I want to show you that it's not that bad. And they started interviewing privates in the middle of it. Day one basic trainees in the middle of the first 100 yards that he's happy about, right? And he asked one of the privates, Comes over, doesn't stand a parade rest for the sergeant major of the fucking army or his drill sergeants. Yep, I know. I know. That it curdled my blood the second I saw it. I'm like, you get called over one by a drill sergeant. And two, you know the sergeant major of the army's there. And you know he's a big deal. Even though it's your day one in the army, you don't know shit. Your drill sergeants told you there's a big deal here. You fucking stand a parade rest for anybody. I don't care who it is. Yeah. You stand a parade rest. Didn't. Sergeant Major of the Army asked him. It's like, hey, you know, you're having a rough time here. It's difficult. Yes, drill yes, sergeant. Is, is it as difficult as you thought? No, no. I thought it would be harder. Says it to the fucking sergeant major of the army who's made this his baby. <laughs> live streaming it on Twitter. Live streaming it on Twitter. And it's like, yes, I'm super proud. Shush puffed up. Is this as hard as you thought it was? Is hardly No, I thought it would be harder. Oh, man. Did the internet just explode? I did. I fucking did. I, <laughs> I fucking did. I fucking did. I, I fucking exploded. That kid needs to get a fucking POB. I said it in the video. I go, this kid's either too fucking stupid to lie or he's so damn smart. He's going to be a general someday because he did the right thing. But immediately after that, like within the conversation, after asking me, I'm like, oh, sorry, no, I wish that would be better. Sergeant Major of the Army goes... Oh, I mean, you think it should be harder? <laughs> like, fucking. Yes. Fucking, yes, I thought it would be harder. We can make it harder right now. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, no, it's it's hard, Sergeant Major. And you're like looking at this implode right in front of you in this Please. beautiful majesty of a 4th of July firework display. I like how they were trying to do like a PR campaign for it and, they, it and they, they live streamed it. Like, yes. no, that's your first problem right there, dude. Like, you have no idea what let that them learn. Can do. Yeah, let, let them, them learn. learn. No, them no, learn. go for it, dude. Let them learn. That is amazing. So what is, it what brought is me the, that gem. What is the first hundred yards? Like, because we talked about it a little before, but is there is there a more general understanding of what like a hundred yards where they run and get yelled at or some shit? So... I forget specifically the story of the last hundred yards, but it's something, it's it's a reference to do with- Oh, it's the last hundred yards? No, no, no. So oh. that's, this is where it comes from. So there's a story, some sort of infantry history about World War II referencing the last hundred yards, like the last hundred yards of battle. You need to prepare yourself for the last hundred yards of battle because that's where it's won. Something to that effect, right? 
So New Age Army is like, well, we want to bring that new campaign, but the old feeling of the World War II generation of, you know, we kicked everybody's asses right. to now. Okay. So they're like, we take this old story of the last 100 yards, we make it now, update it, the first 100 yards. Now, this is what the first 100 yards is. You get rid of the shark attack. You, you have them like run a mile. Then they go to a pre-stacked area. Let's say you have different platoon areas already, mm -hmm. you know, in basic training. And it's got ammo cans, uh, water jugs, and MRE boxes. And they're stacked in a specific way, like Lincoln Longs, right? So you have to pick them up. You have to then move them a distance, not specified. So I'm assuming they get a little tired, right? Because they pick up some shit. Then they put it down. They have to stack it exactly as it was. And if they don't, then they get in trouble and they get smoked a little bit, right? But they don't. You're watching this happen in real life with the Sergeant Major of the Army's live stream. And you're like, this is a mess. This is sad. And then after all this kind of like running around a little bit and trying to stack some things in a relay race and... You have to do one of the things was there like the the three oh second infantry battalion. You had a, your different team like within your platoon, your little you know twelve man teams have to do three hundred and two push ups. You know, and then yeah, yeah, in a circle, one at a time, one at a time, cheering each other on because go army. How many have to do three hundred two push ups? Let's say like a team of twelve, split it up amongst themselves. Yes, hold your vomit in, guy. So then. So this is this is the that's whole. It's not spiel. even a hundred. This time, close to hundred push-ups a pop. Wow. I can do a hundred push-ups right now with a still fucked up arm. It's not even oh, like thirty. This was a competition. Oh, but okay, I know. I'm just simply so, saying. No, no, I could just more. I'm I'm just gauging myself that I'm not fucking twenty four years old or twenty two. Like so, you're you got you got to push those kids to the limit, man. And you're getting a whole bunch of prizes that are just standing around there doing nothing. And what, what the fuck? And now you've got so many different split up that now how many drill sergeants do you have to make sure that they're actually doing the task right? Because now they're split up in all these different groups. Anyway. So that continues, and then it ends with drill sergeants teaching them the PRT, or I'm sorry, the Army Physical Fit, the Army Combat Fitness Test, and the movements therein. Okay, cool, but time and a place. They're doing it all fucked up. They're, they're, you're supposed to keep them under stress. They're fucking it all up. In the video, too, you see them fucking it all up like crazy because they haven't been taught correctly. That's it. Then they go to a little opening where they have some super cool hula guys like you, they're drill sergeants normally, and, yeah. and they do a, an infantry movement, you know, wedge formation, yay, through yeah, fucking smoke, smoke, and that's it, with their kid on. That's it, right? Just a, this is what you can look like. Another positive thing, which I think you can get in basic training of this is what you can attain one yeah. day. Yeah, but it's good inspiration. Inspiration, totally fine with that, but that's it. That's the whole fucking thing. That's it. And they got rid of the shark attack for that. Now, can, can they smoke people in basic training still? Yes, but you can't call it smoke because because now corrective it's hazing. Action. Because now it's hazing. Does they call what? it corrective action? God. Yeah. So you have to do corrective action. So that's what it is. And if you watch the live stream, if you watch my video, doing a nice breakdown of it. Thank you, Angry Cops YouTube. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll check it out. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna watch it. So if if you watch it. It's 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 one of those videos where I'm legitimately pissed off at how yeah. stupid this is. I started it and got bored, so I'll go back and watch it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm curious where people have been in or like I don't know service, what, you what their opinions you go are. Fuck yourself on both <laughs> accounts, sir. What's that? No, I'm just, I'm just curious like what people that have been in, not from my strikes, but like, like the audience, what they think. Like maybe on YouTube, leave a comment about that because I'd be curious what people think about this like slow, slow progression of just like making shit easier. But may, maybe maybe it's a time of mainly garrison right now. And so the army's just kind of Definitely. bored and they don't know what to do. And if like a conflict happened, it'd be like, time to get back to work, boys. Which so, is too little too late. I, I completely agree with that sentiment, but maybe that's their thought process in it. And I, I mean, I disagree with it. I uh, went on Instagram before I made the video just to get some more kind of like boots on ground. Like what's going on? And I had a bunch of, <clears throat> I, won't, I won't say who they were, but I had a bunch of individuals from basic training units, enlisted officer alike, uh, contact me and be like, this is stupid. This is horseshit. We've been trying to work it to make it more difficult, but it's, it's lame. It's fucking bad. Lame. Lame sauce. But that's what it should go back to is like it, it, the best things in life come from hard work. And like, how are you supposed to like put that beret on and be like, holy shit, I earned this, right? Like, mm -hmm. cause- like that's the whole purpose of donning a beret is like you did it, not fucking. I just chilled out for thirteen weeks and it was a cakewalk. Yep. What the fuck's the point of that? Then it loses all of the nostalgia. Yep. Ugh. 
everything. Trash. 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 Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm not a fan either. And I'm trying to go back this year onto the trail. You're, gonna, well, you you're better, trying to go back into the Air Force. Air Force. Well, yeah, you better I, get ready I, for that. I, well, I got one more time. I can, I can get one more summer on the trail pushing privates before I got to go and start, I don't know. Of course, pushing privates. Pushing some, some jello to another nicer <laughs> airman. <laughs> Would you like some more jello airman? Well, thank you very much. Oh, this you is going to be great. You only get one cookie for life. I no! can't wait to Don't see you. Don't you make the Air Force that I get two desserts? <laughs> you know what? After I win this bet, you have to come back in your dress uniform. My blues? Yes. My Air Force yes. blues? With a sword. With, with and, all my... And a sword and, a glo- and gloves. And airborne wings. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> just so, do I... Do I have to? I still got to figure out what I want you to do. I just know that that's a really good punishment for me. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll iron this out, but could you imagine me coming back? You with, make me join the Peace Corps and I, I have only, to go on a trip with them? I only wear the two Air, a mission Air Force trip? ribbons that I wear in my uniform instead of my fucking no, 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 my no. army shit. Put them with, oh, I can't be like three months, but give him a month with like some Mormon missionaries and he's got to go build wells. Or the Peace Corps. Or the Peace like Corps. I got to go out with no, the no, Peace no. Corps. No, don't they, change it, Mormons. Mormons would be great. <laughs> They're going to change you. Yeah, but you. That, that's the thing is they won't allow it. You have to you have to be part of the church like you have to, to do that. earn. Yeah, you have to work up to your mission. So there's no way to do that. Hmm, so you have to you have that. to enlist me in the Peace Corps. Or <gasps> a merchant marine, I've got to go out to sea. <laughs> One word, it's going to get this entire thing taken down. Okay. Scientology. Again, I ha- you have to you have to go you get to join the Scientology. You have to go. Church you have to go through an interview. Quotations. They have to accept you. No, no, no. I didn't say what you had to do yet. I just said Scientology. It has to do with Tom Cruise too. I want to lock it up his hair. That's, <laughs> that's impossible. I want Scientologist Jesus's hair. That's that's unattainable. Huh? Number one, I have to get within arm's reach if, of Tom Cruise. If there's one if man that could do it. It's Jared Taylor. <laughs> a lock of Tom Cruise's hair. <laughs> but then he needs to put it in a nice little glass thing on a necklace. It has to have a cork top. Like mm-hmm. a nice old school cork top. Don't put top. it in holy water. Otherwise, it'll burn. Yeah. Mm. Jared That's Taylor a with one. a halfway filled glass of chloroform can do a lot more in this world <laughs> than most Ranger teams. <laughs> hey, that's fair. That's fair. Look, I mean, this is this is deep level. Like... I have to. I have to now figure out a way to get within arm's reach of Tom. Not that difficult. Then do it without security. We already know what state he lives in, <laughs> and it's on lockdown. Where's he gonna go? He's already in a position. If you don't do it now, you're gonna lose your chance. <laughs> or you get real deep with this. You start a nonprofit, and then somehow network in there and say that the lock of hair from Tom oh, Cruise is, will save people's lives. This is and huge. Make, so you, make MI seven or MI. I don't know th- what MI we're on now. You don't but, think a merchant marine is funny, and you have to send me to sea? My grandfather was a merchant marine in World War II, sir. How dare you? <laughs> Look, I have to go to sea. That's what you do. He just keeps wanting to go to sea. Yeah. Ever since yeah. I said Alaska, so, like, he I'm wants not, to go to yeah, sea. I'm, like, I'm not playing your game. Put me on a boat. No. Come on. Boats and hoes with mm, that hair? Boats and no. hoes. Boats and hoes. <laughs> we had too much fun with you shitting halfway into a room <laughs> yeah. and filling it up on a crab shack. You're going nowhere near a boat. Oh, oh come on. No, if I got to be an airman, you got to be something fucking I got to be weird. a carny. Like, I... <laughs> You would love to be a carny. Yeah. You, you're just giving he, just, me, he just saying things he wants to do. You're just giving me bucket list items. That's all you're doing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe go to like Arkansas and be a carny at the uh, World Circus level wait, four. Wait. Like, how do you know all this? You've got to make my balls like a little bit bigger and then I want one of them to have a tattoo on it or Braille. I'm He's like, got to get breast implants. <laughs> no, I'm not getting breast implants. You can't modify, surgically modify my body. I'm joining the fucking Air Force. And... That's not that's modifying, modifying your body. That's like mind control. No, you're able to fill out a little bit more. My soul and insides will be dead. <laughs> so what if you have some this. dead piece of plastic on your tits? How about you have to? He has to get down to eight percent body fat. Oh, that's not hard. He's a fucking psycho. He'll do that. It's called cocaine. God, oh, I don't know. <laughs> this guy never heard of drugs before. No, it definitely it has to be something career based. It has because to, there because has we're to be changing a his career. It has to be something with commitment. I mean, I can transfer from one branch to the other semi yeah. within a year, about yeah. a year, yeah. right? But I still have to go there. Yeah. This is and a big do some bet. shit. Yeah. yeah. This, this is a big, is a big, big bet. bet. This is this is the I don't want of the year. I want, I want this. this to happen because one, I might win. And two, even if I lose, this is gonna be fucking hysterical. Yes, it is. I, I almost wanna go to Air Force Base. Oh, it's so funny. I almost funny. want you just so I can look at the little fucking shit 17-year-olds that I used to be and be like. You know they'd out you real quick who you were, and it'd be fucking hilarious. 
Like well, they, also, they I, I would know. have access to you the through your entire... The privates knew who I was yeah. when I was in basic training, but they just didn't say anything until the end. Actually, uh, there's an offer on the table for Matt to be an honorary commander of a basic training unit here. Yeah, there is. But wait, basic training here is Air Force. Yes. What do I have to do? I saw no, that. Nothing. You just... You, you, it's a ceremony and then I'll you be an come honorary and speak. commander. Yeah. Could you be my basic training commander? Oh, oh my God. We could make sure that you get put in his squadron. Yeah. We absolutely could pull those strings because he's the honorary commander. Yeah. Who's going to tell him no? I'm, I'm saying right now, if the, US, if the United States Army and the United States Air Force don't get together on this, this is I great. mean, I think we I'll need to the talk to... Of and I'm in. I'm we in. need to I talk will, to the recruiting command. Bet, I will join the Air Force. I shit you not. I will do it. I'm not going to fucking puss out. Yes. I will join the Air Force if I lose this bet. I'll do it. I will get on the phone with the headquarters of Air National Guard recruiting. So they are involved. Outstanding. And if I, I get to be the honorary commander, I'll even do some of the basic training with you to based off of time requirements. Makes but sense to me. It's, it's right there. I'll, I'll, I'll run the miles. I'm down. It's like one oh, mile. God, we got to run. It's like yeah, one mile. Yeah, we got to run. It's Wait, one mile. Like a one mile. I think PT's optional now. Yeah, what? I'm pretty sure PT's yeah. optional. I think it's PT's optional, optional. now. What? Oh, you didn't hear about this? What? You, oh. guys, you guys are fucking with me. Come on. Okay. God. You've been out, old man. You need to get in. I... Run, help run a business. I'm fucking busy. You know what? I thought He's you were fucking broke, busy. The fact that you're not you mad know? about enough of the things that are not affecting you directly. I'm going to go sure right into my truck guy. and selfie myself screaming a rant video right after this because of you. Thank you. I wish you would. Ah! I got Harry Graham Allen over here ready yeah, to go us, into a car. Him that, tell him that somebody recognized you and it was just him. Yep. Yeah. Because he's your friend. Correct. Right. Oh, man. This guy stopped me. Sergeant Major of the Army. Oh, another Sergeant Major of the Army story. What do you know? Interesting that we have this kind of, I don't know. Uh, Good thing you're joining the Air Force. is happening, right? <laughs> so so P PT's optional. No, you do not have to pass a Army combat fitness test. A fitness test, period. You do not have to pass a fitness test Army-wide until 2022. Army-wide, including basic oh, training. Oh, because they just did the new standard or whatever? Yeah. But do you know how long they've been doing the new standard and prepping us in the new like, standard? Like three years, right? Yes. Do you think the new standard matters to people that have never been in the military whatsoever? No. No, but they still don't have to do the it. The people that were in might have had a grandfather period Boom. so they could prep. And but then everybody the else new basic on the training level shouldn't be that way. So now guess what's going to happen? And this happened back in the old days, the old days when I was still, so I still am. But when I was on the trail more regularly, when you, you don't have to pass basic training with passing physical fitness standards. So, and this happened already in the army where they were like, hey, listen, you don't have to pass physical fitness standards in basic training AIT area, but you have to pass it when you get to your home unit. They did that for like a year or two. It was a little while back. Like How did that back. work out for Oh, them. it didn't because yeah. a whole bunch of fat fucking bodies that ended up getting chaptered out of the army almost immediately when they got to their unit were chaptered out of the fucking army almost immediately when they got to their unit. Who is making these decisions? Command Sergeant Major of the Army is making these decisions. Can I speak with the Sergeant Major? I got some ideas for you, buddy. Like, I, I can help he you He doesn't out. sound like someone that is into good ideas. I don't think he likes listening to people. I don't think he likes good ideas at all. Like, oh, shit, based I'm on his... In. I'm fucked. I better go to the Air Force. Yeah, yeah. 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 Better, yeah good thing you're going now. to the Air Force. You're fucked now. Well, oh, I'm not in uniform. What are I'm... you going to get? A nasty letter? These views do not Stop. represent the United States Military Department, Department of Defense. Or New York Army National Guard. There you, you go. All myself. Thank you. There's your disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. So even if you're an infantryman, you don't have to pass that I standard. I have to do that, by the way. I have to have a fucking disclaimer in all my videos. Really? Otherwise, I get fucking in trouble. So I much mean, for free speech. But anyway, go on. So even if you're infantry, you don't have to pass the physical standards. Everybody means everybody. Army-wide. Holy fucking So then shit. how do they even have SFAS? If you don't have to pass Well, I think anything. different selections, right? How do you would select... Be I don't know. You can still look at the fat guy. And be I like, like the fact that no. you say when I'm on the trail, it reminds me as if you were on the Oregon Trail. Yeah, and then yeah. your whole cabin and your wagon died of yeah. dysentery. You lost well, everybody. Of dysentery, this guy in the shrimp boat. Hey, yeah. hey, shrimp! Full I circle. get to go shrimping because shrimping's in the south. <gasps> it's out of Galveston. We're on the right track. What if he got in a fight with an MMA artist? Come on, oh, female. Ronda Rouse. Oh, that's too high. That's too high. I want, but I mean, like, why do I have to fight? Minutes. Like, su submissions don't count. They just restart. They just continue the round. Right. Like Amanda Nunez, <laughs> but boxing gear. I love like, it. We won't, we won't hurt him physically. Yeah, we will. 
<laughs> no, I'm not going to be sore going through I thought this was going to be a career change. Oh, it's going to be a life change. How do you, as an entrepreneur, have a career change, though? That's like... No, it's not a career change, take a but I have off. to go take... You know, I have to go do whatever this is that he's going to come up with. And it better be fucking crazy. Yeah, so you train... Jerry would love this idea. You have to become a boat captain. He has oh, to train. yeah! Let's <laughs> do a boat captain. He has to train for the fight, obviously. So that there's there's a couple month long commitment, right? And then he has to get the shit, get fight uh, a <laughs> MMA opponent, male woman, or female, woman. of our choosing. You're in that sphere. Yeah. Right? There we go. If you I lose, think, you know, if, no, if you here, we go, here we go, here we go. We, we, we can sort the details out, but Ryan Bader is a, is a close home. I don't want to fight Ryan Bader. Yeah, no, but, no, but like, he won't like kill you. Like, we'll tell him to like, just, just ring your bell. Come make no. you very uncomfortable. Yeah. He's got to punch him in the face a bunch. Yeah, like jabs and like crosses. Not not like like 40% where you're like, ow, but you're not like- Yeah, but, but like that's just a lay. Everybody Press, knows like that's a lay on Body shot, dude. Trust me, it you'll kill anybody with a body shot. It doesn't oh, even, it's shot. not yeah, even like don't training. Know. People that never fought don't know how- Body shots body are the worst. Shots are. I'll take headshots all day. Body, you're, you, yeah, your you lights will. go out. That's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body shots. No, you're quoting the porno industry before you became- This isn't even, you're just signing me to get beat up. Yeah, but you have to train to get beat up. No, why would I train to get beat up? Because I could people train are going to view it because it's going to be on pay-per-view. Yeah. I could train Logan Paul. every day. Yeah. Logan and Paul's still fighting not Mayweather. Is he? he? Logan Paul. This yeah. is where the state of boxing is. Logan Paul is fighting Mayweather in That's an real? exhibition match that is real February 10th, I believe it is. It's not a real, like, it's sanctioned, but it's it's exhibitionary. So they're literally just cash grabbing. Yeah. And you have Logan Paul, who has he's zero and two. No. He's one loss, one draw in professional boxing. Oh, he's good. Uh, yeah, okay. That's a 50-50 toss-up. He could beat Mayweather. He could beat Mayweather. Yeah. And that, that's the state of boxing right now. <laughs> that's what I mean. You're just signing me up to get beat up. No, like, no, no. No, you, the, the, I have to have a chance. The way that he's talking us out of this, this is perfect. I have yeah, to have exactly. a chance. He doesn't want to do this. You, you have to, you because you can't not train. You I can't, can't fight Ryan Bader. Hey. You're... It's like me saying, hey, you could train, hey, but you have to race against Pastrana. Full, hey, he's got a full marathon. Okay. Full, full marathon. He's got to do a 26. Oh, come 26. on. No, let's full do marathon. the fight. Let's full, do the fight. Full marathon. <laughs> <laughs> let's do the fight. Because the longer the suffering, like 26 <laughs> miles. 26 miles. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's do the fi fight. Fighting, he's just going to cover up and be like, ow, 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 ow for three for minutes, fight. and then he'll be done. Because no, he, he's tough as nails. No, he really he's, is. He's, he's got pride in him. He's going to want to take a couple shots. He's going to train to look pretty. Yeah. He's not going to just like be like, I don't care, and show up as a fat piece of shit. <laughs> no, he'll train, but that marathon, that <laughs> marathon. Oh, the fight sounds good. <laughs> no, <gasps> triathlon. Okay. Uh, Fuck! Yeah, because then he's got to swim, bike, and run. No, I want to drive by him with a bike and talk shit the entire time on a loud bullhorn. We can do that. We'll be out there in kayaks next to him or a jet ski because he loves jet skis. We'll drive right next to him in a sea do. Spray him. He's going to need a fucking <laughs> yeah. floaty vest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, Wait, buddy? He's got to train for CrossFit Nationals. Oh no, I like CrossFit. Don't make, don't shit on my people. No, I like CrossFit too, but that's hard. It is hard. Oh, but, but it's then we can't. He won't. It's not answers. as long though. Yeah. It's not as long. You're right. He would and just then be, like, he doesn't make need it. to train. You know, he could just yeah. be like, "Oh, I'm tired. I lifted this. I fell right, over. I did Breathed the walk. heavy. Very true. Triathlon or 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 a full marathon. Full marathon. <laughs> full marathon. I think that's it. I think we there's found an it. Air Force marathon. Oh, uh, I was gonna say I'll run it with you, but you know I don't want to do yet. that. If if I'm in the Air Force, I tell you what. Here we go. This is it. Here's a win. Here's a lose, 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 win. Because you get to watch. Yeah, I just get to watch. Show. This is great. If I lose, whatever bet this is for this uh, for the Super Bowl, which by the way, joining I, the Air Force, I get to bet first. Yes, you get to pick your team this, first. This is a year long commitment. Yes. All right, I have to join the Air Force if I lose. Yes. You have to run the Air Force Marathon if you lose. It has to be a respectable time. Otherwise, you have to do it again the next year. In Air Force PT gear. What's the, what, what's the, what's the Air Force Marathon? Is it an actual marathon? Yeah. Is it a full marathon? Yeah, it's in Ohio. If, uh, it's Wright-Patterson, I believe. If I, lo if I lose and I'm in the Air Force, I'll run the half marathon with you just for like a charity event thing. So you still have to run like a half marathon. I'll run a half marathon for charity. So regardless- I've never run that far in my life. Either I hate it. So regardless, we're really both running a half marathon. If you want, I mean, you could bitch out and just not do it for charity. I mean- No, no, no. Now I'll take this bet that no matter what, you no and I are running what, a we, half, marathon half marathon or the Air Force marathon. Yeah. What's a half marathon? 12 miles? 12 miles. No, it's 13.1. 13.1, whatever it is. Yeah, I'll run that. That's easy. I won't even train. Shut up. God, what a fucking- 
golden child. I just said we, Eddie six. Murphy came and plucked you out of some weird demon's hands. That's how much of a golden child you no, are. No, I don't get mad at me for saying I'm supporting some weird charity. Asian woman 20, is saying prayers right now over you. That's how much of a golden miles. child. I hate running too, and I'm, I'm a big boy. Twenty-six point okay. two miles. Yeah, you got to run a full marathon. Fuck. Yeah, you can't walk too. I mean, you might have to walk at some point. We're gonna have to but, walk at some point. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow a little bit of walking. I'm not a I'm not a spineless piece of shit, but. You got to run the full marathon and I'm going to be on the bike talking shit. Yeah, but yeah. regardless. Wait, can we do like a side-by-side bike where we both pedal it? We could do. And just talk shit. You could do a tandem bike. No, a tandem. You guys are a tandem bike. Tandem, tandem bike. bike. No, those, get those are hard. Those are hard. Tricycle. One guy pedals. One guy sits in the back with a big crate and just drinks. Or we yeah. can pay one of those nice guys that Let's ride one the bike. Yes. Yes. We'll just sit in the back and drink. Yes. You guys are on a trike. We need a bullhorn. We need a bullhorn. Because I'll run the first half with you and I'll be like, yeah. And then the second half, I can shit all over him and drink with you. You can shit on us. You have to be in an Air right. Force uniform. No, no, no. There we go. Because you're going to run with us, right? The half marathon, so not the, the full first, one. That's what Fuck I'm saying. That. Is even if, regardless, we're going to run the half Air Force marathon. Sure. I'm down. Yeah. Okay, there's the bet. Seal it. Judge. The judge. Judge oh, Jared sealed. That's a good one. That's a good one. Like, the Air Force versus the help. Air Force. I still feel like he's getting a hell of a deal. Like He's just got like a couple days. You'll probably break your feet if you run a full marathon and don't train, by the way. My buddy did. Yeah, well, you'll get you'll get stress fractures probably. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Broke his fucking feet. Oh, God. Tony Fanara, Swick. Fantastic man. Oh, God. Yeah, you're going to have to log at like three or four miles quite a few different I'm going to call Goggins. To get, get I'm going to get my training bonus. on once I lo- if I lose. Well, because we've got time, right? Yeah. So when is the Air Force Marathon? Let me look. Well, he's Googling that. Think about that. You could run with Cam Haynes too and do like cool Instagrams like, push it to the limit. But oh, that's a great song. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, you say it high and slower. I say it fast. I do the push it to the limit. September it what mood 19th. I'm, in. I'm always in the, the push it. Push it to the, the limit. limit mood. I'm always September in that September 19th, 2021. That's perfect. September 19th. That's <gasps> perfect because right Super Bowl's what in January. Yeah. And that so gives, we have you, 10 mo- gives you nine months yeah, nine or eight months. months to, that's actually a really good training. Eight yeah. Months, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll have to train too because I'll have to run. I'll probably be the thinnest that I've ever been. Thank God. Watch your fucking tone, Matthew. I will outlift you in a heartbeat. And I still look studly. Why don't you go get your fucking broken arm fixed? It is. Mm, nah, nah. It's like 70% right it now. It needs to catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you have the muscle density of a fucking Potato. balloon. You're shaped like Grimace. Yeah. You're, 30, <laughs> you're 33 and you look like Dana White. That's a compliment. Dana White looks great. Yeah. And Dana White rich. also looks like Joe Rogan, who I also look like. So it's, And they're it's a both win-win. rich. Yeah. Yeah. You're like Joe Rogan, except for not rich, talented, or have any physical capabilities. Well, you know what? At least I'm not some communist. At least you don't look like a bro vet Dan Bilzerian. Why don't you go give a little bit more money towards, you know, the Clinton Foundation, fella? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, Clinton I did Foundation. That. Hey, how many times were you on Jeffrey Epstein's plane? I think it was twice. Have you seen the logs? I have, said Matt B. I was, I was all up in Epstein's Island. That was code for his butthole. I knew you were yeah, about that. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> he said I was his proud boy. You know, the, old, the only <laughs> proud. Plus 30 year and you were wearing proud. yellow when he peed on you. Ooh. Yeah. He R. kelly me. He did. He sure did. Piss on you. Oh, okay. well, I'm going to piss as always, food. it has not been a pleasure because you suck. You know what? It took a little while for this one to warm up. We jumped into it. And then I must say like 10 minutes in, we started getting a real sassy. I, I like it. I like the sassy shit talking. You're a great guest. I always enjoy seeing you. Oh. Um, we just sealed ourselves for 2020. Oh, we're fucked. Yeah. I mean, I'm really fucked. Like, I'm going to, I might join the Air Force. That's God, I hilarious. Really, I really hope. Hey, I, I going to interrupt you. Mm. I need, I know we're not, we're like, we're friends. We're not the best of friends, but I need a favor from you. Like okay. a big one. Mm. I need you to win this bet. <laughs> the Do sheer content I'd... that I can just have fun with sitting in the back of like a fucking tricycle fucking while someone's dude on a pedaling us and I'm just drinking whatever beers we want yes. for, for four what's hours. It gonna take? No, you're not doing that in four hours. Like nine hours. Um, four hours. You, you, you're, you're pretty fast? No. You, you That's like professional level. Oh, yeah. shit. Sure. Dave, okay. can you look that up on your phone? What's the average time on a marathon? The th- <laughs> world record? <laughs> All right, let me let me look that up. World just record for Boston Marathon, just because I mean that's you could just at, look at Google the average time for the. Oh Boston my god, Marathon. the world record is actually in two hours and one minute. I thought I thought the two hours. Of just course, beaten. he's from Kenya. All the best runners. There was a two. Now wow. the two hour time was just recently beaten. Holy shit! But either way, the average time is like six hours. Yeah, so you're gonna be like six seven hours. You guys are gonna be hammered. 
Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I mean, well, it will be hammered off of motivation for you. <laughs> oh my we, we need a bullhorn, you know? Just well, either fucking... way, we're still running the first half with you. True. It's just that once you're like, oh, God, once, once, we, once the friendship and the camaraderie leaves you, you then have a whole entire thing to go. Miles oh, so we're running that portion of it, half of it. Yeah, we got to run half of it with him. We okay, I didn't know this. if that was a separate marathon. I was hoping he's going to have to run another one. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, that's a good thing. So you have to run the Air Force Marathon. Because you're essentially, you're taking half of his bet, Yeah, and we can, yeah, no, yeah, 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 you guys just have to be there in your trike. We have to be there, we're going to shit on you. And then on a separate occasion. Maybe before we do a half marathon, so he trains up and pump it up. And then the next one, next one, we just let ourselves go and get fat and drink beer. Maybe what I was there, Marine Corps one, Army one, and Navy one. There's got to be a marathon. There's plenty of marathons. He'll be in great fucking shape. It's got to be afterwards. Oh shit, when's it going to be? He's going to be in great shape if he's training for it. And then we run it with him. We're going to be fucking dragging ass. You're expecting him to actually train for this. I think he's just going to show up and go for it. uh, Listen, I know you know him, but this guy uh, uh, bragged. So I don't know if it was true or not. He's like, I could throw on like a fucking ruck and 45 pounds and just beat the shit out of myself for like a month and then lose like 50 pounds and get a, get a six pack. So yeah, it's not the big deal. It just sucks. I'm like, I will give Jared's a tough son of a bitch, man. He is. I think he, he's, he's tough. It'll take he's me. Tough. I'll have to train. For he this. trained for his PT test in El Paso and it was like the first day was like a 13 minute mile. And then by the, the week done, he was like already running like a fucking 720. And I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, like a normal person. That's nice. You know, you've got a normal person underneath all whatever that is. <laughs> Did you see that Instagram post he put of him as a young tech P? I see it all the time. I lean think he and just, mean he was. Yeah. I know. I know he's drunk and looking in the mirror whenever he posts those those things. You know, he's yeah. just like, uh, I got to make sure that Jared's just okay. shirtless in the mirror. I'm gonna show Instagram. It was not always like. I just this. find some of these man. things. It's pretty funny. Hmm? I just find I was digging through. I was looking for something yesterday on the hard drive and stumbled across those. And I'm you like, were a pretty man back then, dude. I thought I really did look like John Burke. I, you were a less. A less Shrek-looking John Burke. If if you if Shrek was a normal person and was fuckable, that would be you. John Burke is just Shrek. Like John John Burke accidentally like tripped over and put his chin to some steroids, and then it. <laughs> and I, I, or I don't or see the John Shrek Burke right. and I were born in like the same hospital, and he like absorbed my chin because I just have neck. It's just a fucking neck. <laughs> you said you have a, just a chin. I don't have a chin. I just have a neck. Oh, I thought you had a couple. No, chins. just got like. Never mind. It doesn't uh, matter. Oh, you know. <laughs> He's gonna be in the air force soon anyway. So I mean, it's celebrated. I can't wait for you to run the half marathon with me, just so I can fucking. <laughs> You'll probably beat me. I'm gonna I'm, whip kick your thigh right in the first mile and oh, just watch fine. you hobble through. I'll check it and then you'll hurt your own leg. We're gonna turn this into a mix. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and you're like, and then I throw a cross, and then then we put blocks. No, it's just you two fighting like at Dwight fucking Schrute one mile. Fighting fighting or fight they got one mile in yeah. fighting. That is, you're kind of like Dwight Schrute, and I'm like Jim Halpert. Do you, oh, hold on. You're ready for this? Funny that you said that. You think you're Jim Halpert, young man? Well, young man, you're older than me. My sisters went back in time and found my old high school senior photos. Okay. You want to see a young Jim Halpert? Whoa, the fuck. Can we need to put that on the show? Yeah, you look exactly like Jim Halpert. That is young Jim No shit. Halpert. Oh, shit. You had a healthy head of hair, dude. I was in a punk band. I, I bleached my hair, but it didn't take out a mohawk. Wow. That looks just like Jim. I was a rebel. I was Jim Halpert. I was, that, was, that Jim right there, he would have snagged Pam right off the rip. Yeah. Just saying. You wouldn't have footsied around for a couple years? A little bitch for five years? No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Mm. All right. Wrap All right, up. guys. Thank you. Well, oh, the well, bed is in place. We've done this before. Where do they find you? Anger cops everywhere. Anger cops right? everywhere. Angry Anger cops. cops. I just started a cameo because cameo messaged me. I don't know how if I'm going to use it though. I'm scared. They messaged nice. me a lot too. Of weirdos. So don't, it's not just they you. messaged me like four years ago. So feel yeah. special. <laughs> they gave me a cool code though. <laughs> really? Of course no. they did. Uh, wait, hold on. Just a little longer in the show for a second. You have a cameo. Ah, oh, shit. I said Sweet. it on loud. Oh, no. Guys, ah, this I got too comfortable. Guys, so, so let's talk about cameo. I'm not endorsed by that because but you can pay. You pay someone to say, to say whatever, whatever you want. You want. Mm-hmm. I got to fucking. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna make it like five hundred dollars for a fucking <laughs> shout out now because Stop. I think this is great. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make it pro Air Force Dude, cameos. He's gonna oh, do no. so many. I love Matt Best cameos. Don't you fucking? Do <laughs> I'm, I literally. I'm like, I, I think you could approve or deny him. So okay. I'm gonna now. I'm just gonna make it five hundred dollars each now for like the next. I'm not gonna say how long. I'm just gonna make it like two hundred dollars or something. So then people will be like, I want to. It's not worth it. 
<laughs> so the average person for me. Oh, oh man. Do you have a cameo? No, no. Ladies That's and right. gentlemen. I'll just, I'll just call up yeah, those deep fake If you <laughs> want to see Richard, just go to Mike the Cop Instagram at Mike the Cop. Yep. Underscores. You'll be disappointed, but yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you, buddy. And uh, we'll have you back in the show soon. Thanks, man. Thank you.